Yes. Now we just crushed them. So listen, there is uh, many variations of what I'm about to show you here, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you a very specific one uh, that I've created. Like I, I, it's basically a two. It, like I have this strategy for a macro one, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it in a one base version. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's gonna be a one base uh, harassment into one base all in. <laughs> mm. You'll see. It's gonna be fun. Perfect. It's gonna be fun. And it's that, um, how to say, liberator. Yeah, liberator strategy. Or like... No, 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 no. That, that one is too complicated to mm. execute, mm. too hard. Yeah, I see. I don't want. I don't want to force you to use even your foot to micro. Mm. No, too hard, too complicated. Perfect. Let's do it. So, this build is consistent of doing a widow mine drop. And the widow mine is gonna be invisible because we're gonna make armory mm -hmm. followed up by mesmerine marauder steam pack time yet mm -hmm. just to give you a, a brief idea so just like the other build 15 i get a guess mm -hmm. right every every aggressive build must be 15 guess usually mm -hmm. because you need to tech up to the factory mm -hmm. as quickly as possible mm -hmm. so i get myself a barracks now Sent the gas. Put the workers on the gas right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I ate in supply now. I get myself the second gas. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're doing the same build. That's a great thing, yes. right? Because you, 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 it's the same opening, but different strategies in it. Like mm -hmm. there's gonna be a big, a big twist in the middle. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Mm -hmm. On our composition. Oh yes, oh yes. Now check this out. Very finishes now. What we do? Orbital marine. Mm -hmm. Now we do a supply depot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now look at this. Once, 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 once I, once, I think once you hit a hundred gas mm -hmm. on the, on the, on the after the factory, you take one worker out of each gas. Small detail, very foundational. This is all crafted by by me, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, the never the factory finishes, Peter, I'm gonna get immediately myself a window mine, a starboard. Mm -hmm. Another supply. And now, I'm gonna also get myself an armory. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the armory is after the medevac, so mm -hmm. wrong time. You know, I, I'm a scrub at this game. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Now, whenever you fully saturate the mineral line, you go go and build two more barracks right away. Medivac. And now, after the medivac, and you're correct. A lot of builds, a lot of things to memorize. I'm gonna build myself an armor. So the armory beater basically what it does is it makes uh, the widow mines invisible. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know that? Yes, it's it's a change. I think it, it was in some patch before you had to uh, yeah. like research it, and now it's like automatically, right? After the exactly. Mm -hmm. it yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Armory finisher. So now whenever the medifact pops, grab the widow mines, go across the map immediately. Yes? Any questions until here? No, I, I understand. It's, I, I will not 
be able to repeat it immediately without like supervision, but I understand that. What you I will supervise! I yeah. will supervise! <laughs> yes. Now, on the, on the the what we're gonna do now is back here on the barracks of the factory is we're gonna start getting, we're gonna put workers back on the gas. Because mm -hmm. minerals now is not looking so important. Gas becomes a little important. And then we're gonna start making now. Steam pack, combat shield. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now we're gonna start making. So we're dropping now, so you can see my armor just got done. 420 is where you should hit. Mm -hmm. So you make a widow mine drop on their main. Another one on their expansion. And back at the base, we just keep making marauders, uh, marines, mm -hmm. widow mines, and medevacs. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep dropping, keep throwing down mules. And heavy, heavy, heavy marauder. Like I say, see, I got supply block right now. Every time you get supply block, make one extra supply, two, mm -hmm. and then go back to producing one at a time. It's just to get you, get you that edge. You, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Now the medevac, Widow Mine, Marauder, 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 and you're correct, it's a lot of build order that you have to memorize under your brain. Each race has their own, each mm -hmm. race has their own peculiarities, I don't know if that's the right word. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Now, whenever the third Widow Mine, uh, the, sorry, the third medevac pops. Time to go. And now we go. Steaming. Producing. I kill low grandmasters with this build. Mm -hmm. But of course, I can't repeat it versus them because they will expect the next time mm -hmm. and they will be ready. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a one time kill. Mm -hmm. And then. After it's very easy for them to but generally shows, stop it. How strong is it that it can be applied so so high, like on such a high level? Yes. Now we just crush them. Mm. Yes. So the widow mine should always be burrowed below you. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just like a a mechanism to retreat in case retreating mm -hmm. becomes necessary. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. After three medevacs, you start actually getting liberators. Mm -hmm. No more uh, medevacs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the video mines are really like defensive with your army, that you keep it under you on the back on, on the yes. back and you can retreat to them yes if i see i'm not gonna withstand the portal's army i fall back and now the widow mine will support me mm -hmm. and hopefully this will, this will be enough to finally kill him mm -hmm. yes very cool and here comes the lip editor and the lip editor is kind of similar like um, a, a, a misconception people have is they think they're supposed to walk the widow mine towards the enemy mm -hmm. and burrow them on top of the enemy. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Wrong, 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 wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. You, you, you burrow below them, your army, and then retreat to them. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the enemy goes into the, the retreat. Mm -hmm. You cannot control if they will fall for that or not. Yes. You just, but at least you force them to stop engaging you to you. You know. Mm -hmm. See, I had, same thing here. I have the widow mines and the and the and the marines and marauders and the liberator to give me support, mm -hmm. and then I can easily take them out. And you know, even though Peter, I'm in one base, I'm still having my, my army still increasing constantly. Now here's a catch. This is interesting to know, which is 
if I notice that this the knock went to good, yes. Generally, at this stage of the game, I can just go down and expand right away. Or, even better, if I notice that I have too little mineral patches, I expand, for example, on my third base, I lift the main base, and I go to another base right away. Because yes. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna get a full min, uh, resource income right away. I'm just gonna stop mining from 10, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then once it lands, I am again in auto optimal economy now. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes? Look at this. And I am getting the third base already because uh, the main base only has little mineral patches. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be mining there because it is, it's not re efficient long term, right? Yes, I understand. You, you showed me when we uh, did one replay, like uh, from the ladder, that it's, it's good to fly your main base sometimes. It yes, was, exactly. It was a slightly different situation, but same concept. It's at 10th minute, I think I was almost mined out at the main, so instead of building the, the third, Exactly. 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 Question. Yes. 